Today, I'm so high right now, too. It's like, we'll start the vlog here, though. I'm so high, I forgot what the fuck I was gonna say. Is this a weed cookie? No. I don't think so, though. I don't know where that came from. Not either. Uh, what up, dude? I got the throwback. Bam. Mm. Two different color yellows, mm. but I got, see, Ooh. the yellow hits. I'm Looking like a motherfucking yeah. banana. What's good, high snobiety? Banana man. What's up with high snobiety? I'm just saying. Take notice. Oh, with the fashion. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna plan on this tour, but also tour or no tour, Teddy's out of here in like 20 days. Essentially, so I doesn't think getting an apartment's a good idea, but maybe we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna think about it. He doesn't like backup plans, but with or without the tour, uh, a home storage costs a lot of money. We're looking at shit like that. So basically, we just got done with a conversation that was. <laughs> A stress purge. Yeah. So now we're taking action, I guess. You want to be in Lakewood? You want to be closer out there to those motherfucking mountains, dog? What's up with you? Let's get one as close as we can to Abby to troll her. No, thank you. 3,700. You could get a six bedroom, like four car garage in Monster. Look at that. 2,000. Three bedroom, three bedroom. We're just like looking at prices, sir. We're not even looking at the houses. Pet friendly. Look at that little yard there. See 18 photos. Hey. Oh. No, that's carpet. White carpet, this shit'll be done, son. Wood floors. Hit him up, let's go. Let's go look at it right now. This one. Listen, listen, I got a proposal for you, all right? I see your house is on the market. I got a YouTuber. You gonna sell so many rentals after he moves in, I'll tell you. Give him the good pick. Listen, listen, do I have a money maker on the phone today or do I have a deal breaker? Hey, Toby, this is Ernie. I'm looking at a... Oh, I see. Okay, and then when would a visitor come up? Four bedroom, three and a half bath. Boom, son, give him a call. Ooh, I got a marble pillar. That's it. It's the, ooh, the green room. The green screen, that whole room. Someone had said something about sending you like a hot peanut or some shit. They were like, will you eat it? I was like, I don't fucking know. One of my live stream the other day was like, take off your hat, do this, and I was like, no, no wait, what? What do you think, what do you this, think is? this is? Like, I'm not fucking I'm telling you. It's my theory. It's the fucking uh, Buckingham Palace theory. Buckingham, this you're is the hot peanuts. Yeah, the Death Nut Challenge. Carolina Reaper peanuts fused with Pepper X. I can go ahead and straight up tell you right now. I'm not touching. Well, I'm touching it. I'm not eating a single fucking thing in this box. I'm not gonna today. I need to think about this. So I mean, it's just two, two or three nuts per. Yeah. It can't be that bad. What do you think? You think you'd, do the go you think you'd even be able to handle the work? Yeah, no. The cover is ridiculous. Are you ready for the death nut challenge? The death nut challenge sounds like your boyfriend's been away for a long ass time. <laughs> Pucker butt is the name of the company. <laughs> Get on a plane first class and you're like, oh, hey man, nice to, nice to meet you. Hey, what do you do? I make videos. Oh, I'm Pucker butt. This is a made in Charlotte, North Carolina dog. My name is Mr. Pucker butt. Nice. Whoop, whoop. Shout out to the motherfucker 704 dog. But if you look on Craigslist, you might find something that's like, what are you eating? Crunchy. A Think Thin bar? Yeah, this is what Brandy gave me today. Can I see it, please? Or the wrapper? I don't need the bar. I just want to see the wrapper. I want to see what's in a Think Thin bar. It makes you think thin. I do see high protein really big on the front of it. We're flying around. Yeah. From what? Oh. Soy protein. No. Yeah. You're gonna get titties, dog. No. Why are Granny shutting me up? But you're eating a fucking diet. These are made for fuck. I'm sorry. This is gonna sound super sexist. These are made for fucking women. Not like you can't eat it, but I'm saying like this is your supplementing protein. No, but why are you supplementing your proteins? You're getting all your protein from not real sources. Oh, steak too. Steak. Where's steak the steak, steak in that bar? Well, okay, so you have to eat a steak later then. And I don't even want to talk about it because every some of the people in here aren't gonna get it. But I'm telling you, this protein blend is soy protein isolate, casein protein, and whey protein isolate. That's that's all that you're getting. And then the second ingredient is molotol, which is just fake sugar. Xylitol or sorbitol or any of that shit. And then the next thing is a coating. Ingredients that's for the the coating is molotol again. Cocoa butter, chocolate, sodium, milk fat, and, and then other bullshit. We have glycerin and then almonds. So after five ingredients, basically, we're to the first real piece of food, which is an almond. Wow, really? Then there's water. Then there's more soy, because there's soy crisps, which is made from soy protein isolate. Then there's tapioca starch, and then there's sunflower oil, which I don't know. I guess that's just to make it fucking palatable. Yeah, 
dog. This is trash. They're all right tasting, but... I'm sure they're all right taste. 24 grams of carbohydrates. 21 grams from sugar alcohol. You're going to be shitting yourself. Isn't it sugar that much? 21 grams from sugar alcohol. Sugar alcohols don't affect insulin, but they'll make, they, they're also like a laxative. If you eat too much of it, it'll make you just shit yourself. Oh, great. I'm just saying, like, yes, in a pinch, this is fine. But if you're eating these shits every day, this is... I don't eat them every day. Brandy gave me this today. I thought it's just good protein, like the kind at the gym I can get. But that's whey protein. All that protein is kind of just, you're still supplementing no. your protein. And uh, for someone who's running as much as you are, you need to be eating even more. Well, yeah, I mean, like one of those after a run, I guess, is whatever, but that's just like a weird, really a high quality. How do you know that about the sugar? I don't know what about sugar. Sugar alcohol. Because I'm smart and I read and I can remember the things that I read sometimes. On a macro level, on a macronutrient level, you, you're correct. Like it fits into whatever the fuck you're trying to do, I guess. You know what I mean? I don't really know what you're trying to do. Yeah. I think you're just trying to get protein, whatever the fuck you think about it. Yeah, I know you still don't know. I know you just hear people like, damn, Ern, looking good. <laughs> and then you're just like, yeah, goofball shit. And that's just like what it is. I get it. But I'm just trying to help you uh, understand a little bit. No, I like to learn that. It's because, know about these sugar but you're not getting any micronutrients. If you just fill your diet with, you know, if they're like, hey, you need to get 50 grams of protein and 20 grams of carbs and 15 grams of fat in this meal and you yeah. do that in a bar that isn't made with real food you're not absorbing the nutrients that you would get from like an actual meal that's going to be beneficial to you and way more what you know always should have a meal when you can and not just think that like oh if i eat this bar i'll get skinnier because that's not really how that fucking works and that's just an industry around the whole shit that's why they write that's why the name of the company is think thin i want some fat ass fuck to think they can eat chocolate bars and still get skinny let's just fucking stop Stop. Let's just stop. <laughs> yeah. you know? Sorry, I didn't mean to go on that tangent. I know I'm gonna get roasted for it. No. Who's gonna take fucking advice from Teddy, man? I'm not fucking talking about, man. I eat chocolate bars every day. I'm 110 pounds, man. Also, I smoke meth, but fuck it. You're young, you can do it. Yeah, you're young, you can just fucking eat a giraffe's butthole and yeah. not even taste it. Those white Alexander Wayne pants that I got, mm -hmm. this is the black version, and I got them shits on sale. Oh, nice. Yeah. They might still have some. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what they say. Yeah, do you know why they say it? Because <laughs> it's true. You gotta think about where I parked. It's fucking been bitch here so for many. fucking 30 minutes. No, dude, yeah, but I went around this block so many damn times. Hey, just wait a minute. It's on this road. Hold on, maybe it marked it in my... <laughs> Okay, no, it's up here. It's up it's up this road. I did find a spot. Oh sure. Oh sure. I remember the spot now. That's the AC. Yeah. It's just not kicking in yet because we just got in the car. Don't talk to me like my mom. <laughs> That's the truth. Yes here. Oh gasolina. Oh look at this. Oh no. Come on. What if we gotta jam up at the pump here? Hey. hey. Oh no. Damn, they you fucking fuck. played you. you and that other one's out of service. Damn, you just got played out on oh, all no, of the no, no, that one. Ugh. Today, today we have to launch the Indiegogo. Today, there's a lot of figuring out details to alleviate frustrations in planning the future of my life. He's going to be, his niece is up in the middle of June and like tell me about it, hey, I'm not gonna smoke weed, or hey, we're gonna cuss, you know, like I'm gonna do whatever, or hey, we're gonna cuss, you know, like I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want to do. Sure. Hello? You're from the what department? Hold on a second. You're calling me from the United States what? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Every day. Someone from Stock X. The hoodie. What hoodie? I don't know. It looks like a hoodie. I didn't order a hoodie. Okay. What the fuck? I already know what it is. There is? Yeah. Where do they come from? The ceiling. Oh. Where most lights come from. I got the off-white hoodie last week from StockX. Thought it was not coming through because of they caught it for smelling like smoke. The person who sent in that hoodie watches the vlog contacted me was like i don't know why it smells like smoke i don't it 
I don't smoke in my house. Da, 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 da. He was like, I don't know what's going on. Bah, 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 bah. Long story short, I told him like, hey, let's just talk. Let's work this out. You know, send, he sent me this hoodie and was like, if it smells, just send it back or get it dry cleaned or whatever, but I'll send it to you first. So I was like, cool, send it. And he sent me the Kith Coca-Cola shirt, which I said I wouldn't buy. I said I would never buy this shirt because it's a Coca-Cola shirt and I wouldn't normally. The person who had this also, and somehow I ended up buying it. I just like it because it's in Hebrew. I, I'm still not like super into the Coca-Cola shit. Sometimes I buy shit for no reason. But I have two of these now because he sent me this one and it's funny because they it's pretty much, this one smells like a girl now, but they pretty much smell the same and it's just like the, but long story short, we worked this out privately he sent me this hoodie and then stock X. I don't even know how they got this to happen because there were no more available. This, that was the only one that was on there. And it was pretty much like, yo, you're shit out of luck. That's the only reason I went to go buy it elsewhere. So they worked some magic and got me the hoodie. So I really handed myself an L by not being patient and I went and bought it myself. But, so now I have two. Maybe I'll put one on stock X. <laughs> It's pretty funny. Thanks, Doc X. I appreciate you uh, working it out for me. Yeah. So at least they uh, went above and beyond. But that's generally what happens when you have an order that's canceled or something comes in and it's wrong on Stock X, they will replace it for you. They will try their best to replace it. So I guess we proved that point today. It's still really dark in here. I don't really understand it. I don't think we've talked about this, but not that anybody from that I've hit up in the corporate sponsor world or whatever has said anything, but the more that I think about our situation and our lifestyle and my attitude, that everything is moving slow because it's corporate to a sense and yeah. we smoke weed and we're running out of time so we're going to run into these issues where people are going to want to fuck with us and want to support the tour and want to sponsor us but they're going to be like well you can't smoke we don't really like this weed content and there's been a couple of people that have reached out that are weed companies really basically the log it's short of it the reason for this video is because we're going to crowdfund it i think instead i'm still dealing with the people that i'm dealing with and if their money comes in and they want to like work out with our proposal then great yeah. but i'm not going to change anything as far as like like, I'm not gonna like tell anybody like, hey, I'm not gonna smoke weed or hey, we're gonna cuss, you know, like I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want to do. That's yeah. just basically how it is. So I think we'll just offer up the crowdfunding and do this. This is our Kickstarter video essentially. So Indiegogo. Indiegogo. This Indiegogo. is our Indiegogo video. Okay. Basically the idea just being we've come up with all these perks. We're going to drop all those perks for people to buy. Once that's over, whatever money we make from that will just be how we schedule the tour. Yeah. And it's <clears> basically <throat> a lot of the perks are just things that give people access if they're not gonna be able to be on the tour they want certain shirts from the tour because certain things aren't going to be like none of this tour stuff is going to be available online if you're not either out on the tour or a backer of the tour in this sense because it's really the only way that we can get it together and get all the merchandise together and yeah pretty much i don't know how better to explain that so we have to see how this goes because originally the tour was going to go to all these places we had like 25 places like mapped out so yeah. depending on the money that we make will depend on that tour if we meet that goal of 100k then we'll be able to keep the tour exactly how it is plus add shit you know what i mean if we make let's say 50 or 30 then we'll just have to recalculate how we do it figure out other money elsewhere but i think this is the best way i think if we start involving other people too much that we're gonna just start losing the ability to move freely people who've invested all this money as companies and they're looking at it as an advertising prospect and they don't like how it's being advertised it's not fair to them if we're offering things to our supporters it's beneficial for them just to give us like they're just they're just basically prepaying for a product exactly. that's going to exist anyway exactly. essentially or they're getting some other perk of some sort so i just like get nervous i get like the more that i work on things that don't feel natural i get nervous and then i just I start to feel like someone like i don't want to be on the road having to check in with somebody being like your post is going up at noon don't worry yeah. like you know like yeah. I, it just starts to feel unnatural yeah. so i'd rather do it this way have it work out this way and if it doesn't work out do something different and but, plus this way our content can just stay natural too in yeah. the sense that you never do any ads or anything kind of unnatural where we're, we're linked into something and when yeah. you're asking for money like that usually that kind this of stuff kind comes of how along it works, with yeah. it. I don't want all my social medias to turn into just like the, the whole tour is like this yeah. episode sponsored yeah. by yeah yeah I don't want to do that so I at least want to like attempt to crowdfund first 
Yeah. Because we got to figure this out because I'm about to uh, be homeless. Yeah. But yeah, that's so the plan. If this doesn't happen, Teddy's homeless. And the vlog will start as a, uh, I'll be sleeping on Which, that Which, this bridge. is great. I wanted to do my whole homeless thing and then this would be the perfect twist. It's true. You never know where the universe is taking you. If you're the homeless guy, then I can continue to document and work with you, but still do my dreams. Of, we can meet so many other homeless people. We might be getting paid less. Yeah. Well, that's the idea. So that's what all these, I mean, this video will be attached to the Indiegogo. So that's what all the perks are. I mean, we even can talk about each point. perk, but they're no, right down there's below. There's a ton of them. them. And then we're going to do a Patreon as well. Yes. So there's this and there's a Patreon, which are different things because they're set up differently. The Patreon may just be more of a long term. I don't even think we'll need to include all this, but fuck it. I. Do you want to talk about the schedule? Or you want me to just talk about the perks? That's what you I mean, want. they could be quick for five dollars. You want to get down? You want to? Well, support? first, let's start. The tour is going to start. We're we're shooting for the tour to start on June sixteenth in Seattle. So as of right now, be in each city. The idea, <coughs> the idea is to be in each city um, for like two or three days. I'm going to be taking a tattoo appointment in each city. We're going to do a pop up in each city, and then we're going to do sort of a the other day is sort of open ended. Uh, maybe a profile on someone else in that town. Maybe someone takes a around town maybe someone who owns a business around town wants to show us something cool like i want to go places and vlog the experience of meeting other people and what other people do that's what i that's the that's the vision in the other vision, places other, other places people. travel the world or travel the country well the world just be more engaging with an audience instead of it just being on a screen. But I want to hear stories. I don't want, and I want to live stories. I don't want to just fucking like go from spot to spot and be like, here I am and take a real quick photo and then go to the next spot. I actually want to experience each place for at least a little bit. Yeah. So. And we're bringing my dog. We haven't mentioned one time we're bringing Omar. Yeah. But the tour starting in Seattle and then following, I'm not gonna give you the exact dates because this is all gonna change. These are the cities right now that we're going to and this is what's on the list. Seattle, Portland, Portland, San Francisco, Los Angeles. Vegas is actually going to be out because we're going there tomorrow. Yeah. So I'm going yeah. to have to switch that or Thursday, but switch that. So Vegas is probably out. Phoenix, Taos, which is not a pop up. I'm just going to Taos because I love it. Austin, Houston, New Orleans, Miami, Atlanta, Asheville, North Carolina, Greensboro, North Carolina, Richmond, Virginia, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, New York City, Boston, Cleveland, Detroit, Chicago, and then London and Tokyo as bonus, we're gonna fly there things. But that doesn't really have much to do with this right here. That's not even budgeted into this. Now we can talk about which these per what these perks are and how they're here. Or I guess we can talk about what we need, right? So essentially the goal is $100,000. That's what I did in this. I have a PowerPoint in front of me that we sent out to people. The reason that the, it's $110,000 and how that breaks down is a vehicle, we need an SUV that's graphic wrapped. That with an insurance policy is 35,000 bucks for three months. Uh, uh, vehicle wrapping itself is 10,000. Gas is 5,000. Food is 20,000. Lodging is 30,000. And tolls and expenses are another 10,000. That doesn't even include the money that we're having to invest, which is a massive amount to make product. This is just to be able to travel. Travel. This is yeah. it. So, and bring my dog and not leave him somewhere and not fly by the seat of my pants and just like completely wreck my brain. Now we can go into the perks. The perks. So, we've tried to do all sorts of tiers here for, you know, anybody that wants to support on the smallest level all the way up to like completely be involved with this this summer. Big so baller level. First one, five bucks, you get a tour support sticker. It'll be an exclusive sticker that only people that donate for the tour or at a pop-up can get. Another $5 one is while we're out there, we're gonna do uh, postcards and you get three random postcards that we'll send personalized from us. Um, for $15, you get a tour lanyard and a sticker. For $25, for the whole time we're on tour, you'll be, we're gonna do credits at the end of the vlog, quick credits and uh, everyone who's donating for that will become part of the sponsor reel. We're also gonna do a sticker pack for $25 where you'll get a pack of at least 10 stickers with the tour exclusive sticker and a bunch of other stickers that are only coming with the tour. $40, we're gonna do a Google Hangout. An hour, what, two hours? I don't know. We're gonna do a one hour. Do like an hour Google Hangout. It'll basically be every month. every month while we're on tour. Yeah. We're gonna do a postcard mailing list for $50. You get a postcard from everywhere that we went, uh, personalized and sent out by us. $100, 20% off coupon, poster, and the Google Hangout. 
Also for $100, you can get an exclusive t-shirt with the poster. We're doing an online VIP for $150, which basically means... <laughs> to look it up. Yeah, because... Online VIP means they get the shirts from the drop because they can't come. Yeah, so basically what it's saying, because none of these are going online. This is only on tour. So if you get the online VIP package, you get to pick your city or a city that you're not coming to and say, I want the shirts from that pop-up and you'll get all the shirts from that pop-up. We're doing a tour photo book for $300. It's gonna be a nice hardcover tour book with photos from the entire tour, all the cities we went to, kind of like a scrapbook of the whole tour. That will only be available through this like everything else. It's an original. It's an original painting. That's all you need to say. All right, small. Five by seven, original painting. Original painting. Real life VIP for 300 if you're coming to the pop-up that day or we're in your city. The 300 you'll pay, first of all, you'll get the t-shirts from the drop for that money. That's all included, but you'll also get to come a few hours early, hang out with us for the day, set up, um, you know, be a part of the whole experience, be a part of the vlog for that. We're doing a tour shirt pack, which is 10 shirts from the tour. So you basically sign up for this, you support, then you get to pick your 10 cities with, you know, as those shirts come out, you don't have to be at those pop-ups. You just, we're gonna send you, you know, as they come out, we're gonna put them aside. You're gonna get all 10 shirts. 600 bucks, you get a Teddy tattoo. Obviously we have to be coming to your city or you have to be willing to come out to one of the cities, but um, $600, basically you're, that's what a tattoo would cost. You're just reserving your spot. And it's a town. two hour tattoo. It's a two hour tattoo. Yeah. It's not like you pay 600 and you get whatever. You get whatever I do tattoos that are like baseball or CD size and they're usually around 500 bucks. So yeah. I'm not saying it won't go over 200 but or two hours, but it's definitely not like some big grand thing. Yeah. And I'm not just gonna fucking tattoo whatever like some stuff just doesn't make good tattoos so yeah. i just i'm there's stuff that if you're married to some crazy idea and it's not gonna make a good tattoo it just isn't gonna go down like give you i'll just back. give you your money back yeah <laughs> so you, there's one person that can explain to you that you cannot get whatever yeah you desire this man right here but, but also helped him out a lot yeah it's true there are some tattoos that now looking back i said man i'm glad he said he wouldn't do that so next for a thousand dollars is a teddy original one of one painting and it, um, instead of the five by seven version, we're stepping it up here to 35 by 82. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 11 by 14, I don't know why. Uh... So it'll be five by, for the other one, five by seven or greater. Because I'm not necessarily, I don't limit myself. Whatever I piece you. of paper I, I grab is what I'm yeah, gonna paint yeah. on. And for this one, just say 16 by 20 or greater. Now we're getting to the big bucks. Now we're getting to the big guys. All you resellers, yeah. Back off, you can't afford it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Unless you can't afford it, I'm just I'm yeah. not trying to talk shit to anybody who's trying to donate. So yeah. if you were offended, it was a joke. Tour shirt package, $2,000. You get every shirt on the tour. Where you'll get every shirt from the tour. You don't have to come out on tour. You don't even have to see us if you don't want You don't even have to know me. Yeah. All right, for $2,500, we have a vlog feature where basically if we're coming to your town and you want you know, the vlog to be about you, we'll spend the day with you. Yeah, if do you have a you company. Do. You or, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, if you yeah. have a company that, you know, that. That's kind of what these things are helpful for. You have a small business and stuff. We come out there, we do it for the day. Maybe you own a really cool company that does- Arcade. Yeah, an arcade, and you want us to come play video games and smoke weed in there, we will. $2,500. Maybe your mom has an amazing porcelain pig collection. Yeah. Whatever. We're down for adventure. Yeah, exactly. Um, now, your own pop-up. $5,000. Hey, your city's not on the tour? You want us to do a pop-up? 5,000 bucks, it's all yours. We come to your city, we travel there, we schedule it in the tour, spend the day with you. The pop-up is at your place of business, so it's gonna draw business there and stuff. I don't care where it is, if it's in the United States, we'll we'll do it. Yeah, we'll, we'll do get it. get there. And you'll get your own shirt, which is a big, like I'm basically designing a shirt for the city. Yeah, that's true, that, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. For 5,000, you get the road dog package five days you come on tour with us ride with us we pay for your that includes you know you pay that and then we'll pay for your flight there and back you know and your lodging your lodging all that for the week you know you'll be taken care the of week five days the five days. work week 
And you get a tattoo out of that from Teddy included while you're hanging. So you get the tattoo package, you get that. You also get some stickers and some other cool shit. Yeah, you'll have whatever we got. Yeah, home. Except you'll be treated all like a t-shirt. Because that is the ultimate package. Yeah, t-shirts are not we could, yeah, t-shirts are not included. 10K, you get everything you want. You get the t-shirts, you get five days with us, you get a tattoo, you get a tour sticker, you get the poster, you get the lanyards, you book, get the book. Everything. You get everything. You get to sleep with Ern. Yeah. I'll be yeah. your assistant for, <laughs> for a while. Who knows? So you'll also get a headache. Yeah. On the thing, yes, yeah, yes, yes. You yes, have yes, your yes. social media and you want your social media physically put on the yes. vehicle. So there you go. 100 bucks for that. You get, you know, put a nice sticker on the vehicle that we're on. You're not explaining that at all. We're doing $100 stickers. Oh, if you have an at, if you have if you have an at, which all of you do, and you would like for one of those ats to be displayed physically on the vehicle in the sticker form, it's $100. So everywhere that we go, I don't care if it's a business, as long as there's no hate speech or ridiculous, if your name is something stupid, change it before you send me money because I'm not going to put anything that's going to get me arrested on the side of the van. But we will display your at. There's the $25 vlog reel. It's literally the van reel. It's in real life, though. Yes. Real. You see my plays on the real? Real. Keep it real, all right? Real, recognize real. Real stickers, real app. Real shit. Got it. Yep. And then the pins. We got to call Sega. You get a pin for 20 bucks and support the tour, or you could get three of them. Again, all exclusive to the tour. We're still doing this. What time is it? 3.30? All day with this shit. Omar's pouting. Omar's coming on tour too. Tell that mayor, going up against the wrong people, you're going up against me. They ended the interview with me, not you, bitch. They didn't end it with you. Well, they did. It also, it went back to me again. Oh, the last it. quote wrote out of my voice. Oh, I didn't make it up. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's all you want. My mom was all proud. She's like, and you had the last word. <laughs> yeah, you've been acting out extra since your weed shit went live. Yep, yep. I got beef. I got beef with the weed. With the weed. I'm going to tell him. Expose. I'm going to tell him about Ugh. it. Can't talk about the weed industry. We're not going to talk about people locked up. Oh, can't sit there and hold bags of weed and be like, hey, but you could have gone to jail for this. People yeah. are actually in jail for it. Just yeah, like, no, oh. I, I agree with that, dude. I fuck. think. Yeah, not getting the whole story. I don't give a fuck what the fuck a bootleg ass, bunky ass fucking mayor thinks. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck what the lawmaker thinks about weed. Gives a shit. Mm. So did you want me to put the link to your thing up here? <laughs> You're not gonna do it, no. so it doesn't matter. <laughs> the, link, uh, the link to Ern's interview is right here. Now that I'm out here, you really don't want to go anywhere where they don't have legal marijuana. That chest hair is on fleek. I know. I said I like, couldn't have gotten a shout out. Cause you couldn't have like they couldn't have put the shirt in front. That's well. That's what everybody. I feel like they almost cropped it out because they felt like it was a brand. Then you get to me and it's like my fucking head. Motherfucker! Yeah, they zoomed in on your yeah, face. Yeah, they zoomed your face in. Was all fat then too. I know. <laughs> Crazy. I couldn't even get a shout out in the fucking news. Call them and see if they want to sponsor the tour. Since Ooh. they're all about weed. That's yeah. very press. Yeah, Asbury Press, tell them since they're all about the weed content, we're going to give them, yo, I'm going to give you the fucking, people are afraid of weed, people have all these, hold on before you do that, because that's epic as well, people are afraid of weed, people have all these stigmas, I'm trying to prove that you can fucking be a successful as fuck motherfucker and still roll joint. Perfectly, I might add. I'm just saying, give me your money and I'll prove it to you. Yeah. I'll drive. I, I drive. Like it. I drive. I smoke. I drive. It's not a DUI because I'm not high. Are you really eating that right now? This is number one. Get started. Ghost pepper. You're you just want gonna... half? N fuck no. Have you pause? Let's do a pre-interview on what you think is gonna happen. I don't Have know. Have you ever had? No. A dude, I'm so bad with. No. You're not good with hot food. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> Here we you are. Think one little half peanut. I don't know. It's called fucking death nuts. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it hits. It's not bad. It is. <laughs> it hits hard, dude. Does it now? I don't know if I could do the other one. Ooh. Just go for the, the most extreme one right now. No. <laughs> no drinks. Fridge is locked. Dude. The only milk I have is expired, too. It's making my brain feel weird. <laughs> It's like, I feel shaky. I feel awake. It's not deep though. It's all in my mouth. So the, uh, 
the death nuts aren't deep. They're just all in your mouth, all right? Yeah. I got it. My nose is running. Um, give me the next nuts. No way. If this is, is it, I feel like it could be worse. You're fucking wild. <laughs> if this is, is, I feel like it could be worse. I mean, just skip right to the fucking mother load. No, right? that's for tomorrow. I'm warming my way up. All right. <laughs> You're gonna eat this next one and not even fucking come over tomorrow. Yeah, maybe I should wait. Because mm. it's starting to heat up Suspense. again. I, I think you should chill until it's not hot anymore. It's getting hotter. That's the thing. <laughs> And I swallowed it like a minute ago. Here we go. This is the warming up scorpion butch tea peppers in the Carolina Reaper. I'm sweating and I'm not even eating them. <laughs> Dude, I don't think I can go beyond this. Level two is where it stops. What the fuck? He's going Woo! I'm sweating under my eyes. I think they call that crying. <laughs> In most places, we call those tears. <laughs> no, they're not even coming out of my eyes. It's like coming out of my face. Look at Simple Jack. Woo! Okay. It's getting worse. Yeah, of course it is. We don't know. This could be a weed cookie. <laughs> Dude, it is so bad. <laughs> Number three. No, I can't do any more of that. My tongue is fucking burning. It's like painful. This ain't the end of the hot nuts in my mouth though, let me tell you. <laughs> the fuck we should do, you buy these, you put them in a nut mix for somebody yeah. at a party. People are just eating and talking. I think they call that so, salt. Oh my so God. So everybody knows not to invite you to a fucking party. Keep your nuts away from Ernie. Uh, well, even Omar is concerned with you. He's like, what have you done? Sorry, Bob. It's literally getting worse. Like it annoys me. Now it's the kind of pain where like you're annoyed. Like when you hurt yourself, you go, why would you do this to yourself? <laughs> Who sent these? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, Parrish. Thank you. All right, I'm out. All right, man. Enjoy that. Uh, okay. Enjoy that aftertaste of the nuts in your mouth. Man. God damn. <laughs> I'll be stuck halfway down the hallway. I'll Take the water with you. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You don't have to keep it here. Fuck, I'm gonna I mean, you don't have to leave either. You can stay until you're like ready to go. I'm just saying. What are these? Use <laughs> your fucking Schindler's Liz neck, bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> Start eating more than some faint fin bars. <laughs> <laughs> this is so hot. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta eat the salad, uh, then I need to head to the gym. It is 4.41 p.m. right now, so I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna head to the gym. I gotta come back and edit. I gotta get video over to Earn. I gotta have him upload to the Indiegogo, and then we're ready to launch. So, um, yeah, so as far as Indiegogo goes, Indiegogo goes, um, I appreciate everyone for just taking the time to look at it. Um, but most of the day was spent like finalizing Indiegogo. Uh, I appreciate everyone who is getting involved, people who've reached out already. It should be a lot of fun. If we meet this goal, it'll be super epic and amazing, and I'll just be ecstatic beyond belief if we're able to do this without a hitch. If we don't meet our goal, that's also fine. I'm pretty sure that I'll make it happen one way or the other. Indiegogo will launch. The link will be in the description. I got a lot of cool ideas. I think it's gonna be an amazing summer. I'm trying not to stress out about a house. At least we made some leadway towards finding a house today. But the next week or two is a little crazy. Vegas pop-up Saturday. I leave Thursday. I'm headed to JC's new shop. If you don't know, Urban Necessities has moved to the Strip. Headed there to support my brother and uh, do a nice little pop-up there. We got some really cool shit dropped in Vegas. I'm giving away $500 in Vegas. You're there basically. You have a chance to win 500 bucks so you can get yourself a grail while you're there. Uh, I'm giving away some other shit too and I got pop-up shirts for sale and I got jokes for you. You and your mama and your sister and your brother and probably your dad if he's got a sense of humor. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's the day. Well, that's the day on here. I'm gonna go get to the gym and come back and edit this all together for you. So thank you guys. Love you. There's a responsibility in that legalization to go back. If you can sit there and you can say, without it even register in your head, like there's people in jail for doing this, right? What kind of entitlement is that? Like, what is what is that doing deeply psyched? Because let me tell you what right now. If I'm in jail and that fucking thing runs in my fucking cell, everything's getting broken. If I'm sitting there for an ounce, a pound of weed, yeah. and the motherfuckers are like some fucking 
Doc Siders fucking LLB yeah. motherfucker is just like, oh, I'm gonna fucking lose my shit. Dead up. I'm gonna be like, yeah, fuck these motherfuckers. Because it's that's even yeah. more deeply psychological, deep psychological oppression. It's like we all grew up with weed is gonna get you put in jail. Your ass can't even fucking like drive down the block without looking behind you. So it's yeah. like it's fucked what it's doing to people who've actually gotten in real trouble for it. It's fucked. Yeah. It's a good point. When you see an article of all white people discuss, you know, the mayor of Littleton's like, hell no, I don't think it's a good idea. How do you explain a joint to your six year old? You turn your dumb, look at your dumb ass kid in his car seat and you say, that's a fucking joint. Yeah. Just like when mom goes home, she have a fucking Chardonnay, like, yeah. same yeah. fucking thing. Except yeah. I can fucking smoke joints. I'm just gonna fucking pass out. Dude, the article ain't mad this morning. But. You should have messaged, dude. I'm just saying he's probably receptive. Like I think if you said that in a good way, to him, or even if I say something like that to him, he could end up doing a story like that or take that into consideration. Right, you need to give me that scene when the album the story. Tell him the fuck to come get me. I need a private jet. Both of us flown out to Jersey for a fuck's sake. Off at one point because you could tell the fucking mayor did not know how to educate children on fucking substances. Yeah. The mayor 